hi guys and welcome back to my channel my name is monique and if you are new here okay darling <laughs> please subscribe if you haven't and join the family okay but welcome to my channel and welcome to another vlog okay so i don't know what's happening with me these days but again 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 i didn't have an intro so i'm just here to say hi welcome back to my channel and i hope you enjoyed this vlog okay and i'm just like i'm looking pretty let me let me just start this vlog looking pretty for once because all the time it's just me looking crusty and dusty and musty and all of that but today i'm looking cute and um i feel myself <laughs> anyways guys hope you enjoyed this vlog and yeah let's get into it <laughs> this all of this i can't i'm literally about to relax my hair because i just can't and i'm having a banana because i'm starving mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. i've concluded sorry i've concluded not natural hair enthusiast not natural hair girl. I'm just not. Let me fetch my relaxer. I want this. I just thought of this one. Because this is what I used to use when i was younger i really i i tried googling what i could use for to, what's the best relaxer for natural hair and they said this one which i was already using but this just blows out your hair doesn't relax it so it'll still be like an afro ish i don't want that i want to relax my hair so i'm not gonna use this i'm i'm using this i'm so tired this hair is painful it, it has not i can't even comb it i can't wear it out and the main reason for me growing my hair was because i was tired of wigs so i wanted to alternate between my natural hair and wigs and i'm sweating because it's hot i wanted to alternate between my natural hair and wigs so that like if i don't feel like wearing a wig i can just wear my natural hair out but i can't because it looks like this uh, so i am relaxing it I'm tired. I'm tired. And anyways, tomorrow I need to go to Joburg. So I'm I'm not about to take a wig. I'm gonna be doing a lot of walking around and I'm probably gonna be in the CBD. I'm not about to take my, my friends home to Joburg. I'm not trying to have it snatched. So I'm relaxing my hair and that's that. So no. I'm done with this life.
Let's pass out all the pounds out. This lip wonder is such an afro. But I can tie my hair. <sighs> so happy. <laughs> the next day. Good morning guys so today is another day I'm on my way to Joburg I'm just calling my cab quickly hello hello Johnny get busy get busy shop yeah boom okay so um I just got the cab. I always call the same guy because safety reasons. So I know him. I've been using him for like four years ever since I started my first year. I've been using him. Anyways, yeah, I'm on my way to Joe work, guys. I'm sweating because this <laughs> bit is so hot. I just hope this weather doesn't follow me to Joe work because I need. A bit of a breeze, a bit of rain, a bit of because what it is so hot in Lady Smith. But anyways, I just tied my hair in this little bun, high school bun, because literally I'm really bad with styling my natural hair. And like my hair is very it's a bit relaxed here, it's more silky here, but in the middle it's so coarse, it's like literally an afro. So if I tie any, like I tried opening a middle part, but like it was so bulky over here because it's still like very coarse. But anyways, guys, I am on my way to Joburg. Um, yeah, I've packed my bag. <laughs> I've packed my bag and yeah, I guess I'll see you in Joburg. I'm so excited. Gosh, I haven't been to Joburg in such a long time. I'm only there for a few days um because i need to get some things for work but you know i'm excited anyways see you in the other side hi guys is it my phone or Hi guys, I am young in it like guys, that's why my hair looks like this. I am in Joburg and currently I am at the University of Joe Hasselberg. I'm at UJ. Um, <clears throat> there's a lot going on. I haven't vlogged ever since I got to Joburg. Got, I got here. A day ago um but yeah I haven't given you guys much context of what's happening but I think I'll do that I don't know when but I'm in Joburg right now I'm at UJ ah, I haven't been to this place in like two years they cutting grass for this night I've been here in two years 
La Nostalgia! I can't believe I'm here as an alumni. Right now, I am no longer a student at UJ. Where did time go, guys? It's coming so little happy. Anyways, let me do what I'm here to do and then see you guys later. But it's it was also raining just now. But the sun is coming out, but it's so hot. But I'm leaving my campus now. This is probably the very last time I see this place. And you know what? It's a bit emotional, but I'm just like, yeah. Also, I'm looking crazy because of this weather I ruined my hair. But damn, it was such a a beautiful yet a very challenging ride ah i'm just looking at like different places and there's literally memories all over this place like yeah i look at it for some just like oh you know i think of something but yeah this is the last time ever probably i come here and yeah now i'm on my way to pta because there's something i need to fix over there i'm having such a hectic day and thing is, I went to PTA yesterday, but it's into Zangalunga for the try again today. So now I'm on my way to PTA. I'm gonna go catch a taxi by Campus Square, and then when I get to town, I'm gonna catch a taxi to PTA. And yeah, see you guys later. I was supposed to do something with my friend, like lunch, late lunch vibes, but the weather is just a lot. I'm not sure if we still want to go, but if we do go, then I'll see you guys then. Yeah. In. Do you like? No, I'm saying not the lighting. Like it's it's dark. Yeah, it's dark. Yeah. I don't know. Hi guys. It's me and my ponda back again. We just got to Piato in these gates to have late lunch. It's actually dinner at this point. Um, but yeah, the lighting is not too great now. It's playing a bandalan. Let's put new Zululiet. Let's just put new Talana. This is it. No, if you don't have a house, I'm so gonna make new Zul. I'm so gonna make Talani look new Zul. But I'm so gonna. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I think oh, upstairs is better. No, we didn't. Yeah. Pardon? We didn't get to go upstairs. Yeah, I think upstairs is better because honestly, out here it's cold.
Hi guys, so wait, wait a minute. Oh my god. Hi guys, so I am back. So weird. But I'm back. I'm back from Joe Work. I came back um, yesterday. Today's Tuesday. I came back on Monday. And yo, know, today I feel so tired. I am so, so exhausted. I really don't know why. But I think it's because I traveled by taxi from Joe Work to Ladysmith. That's like four to five hours in a taxi. Yo, know, like my whole body hurts. Like, I slept until, like, half past ten today. My cover off is ten, so I'm really tired. But, yeah, I'm back. And I'm wearing a hoodie because I wanted to show you guys this hoodie that I got from Mr. Price yesterday. I think it's very cute. It's just a black hoodie. There's really nothing to it it's just a nice cute black hoodie but i just don't like how it's not fitted over here like it's just you know like this is loose i wanted to go for like an oversized look but i don't know man i just don't like this part but anyways i just wanted to show you guys this hoodie that i got from mr price yesterday got it for 160 i think Yes, 116. And then I also got um also got brushes on special. I got these brushes. I got these brushes. These are like very cute brushes let me open them and these were such a bargain they are so cute you guys i don't know if you can see from the oh the lighting but yeah this is basically how they look they're like pink and white and oh i'm so low um yeah i got two of these because they were special they were literally 20 bucks i couldn't believe it they went from 80 rand to 20 rand so yeah and then what else did i oh i got this as well influenced hashtag influence i got this dawn um body lotion repairing body lotion helps reduce the appearance of stretch marks so if you don't follow k yams of which i don't know which country you live in if you live in south africa and you don't follow k yams shame on you but um yeah this was influenced by her apparently this is really good for stretch marks and yeah i've used it like three times or four times but when i was using it i wasn't really like targeting my stretch marks I was just just but from this week i'll like use it properly on my stretch marks but yeah um also this is really affordable it's like 20 bucks but anyways guys that is literally it um please don't mind that whole mess going on around here this year guys we are manifesting me getting a new i hate this angle oh my gosh this year we are manifesting me getting a wardrobe so like a, a new cupboard so that i can fit all of my things in there and I don't have to see all that mess over there because my cupboard right now is very small. Um, yeah, so I can't really fit all of my things in there. So 
this year i need to get a new cupboard putting it out there this year i need to get a new cupboard so that all of that nyova 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 i don't have to see it anymore but anyways that's it i have a pimple here but it's drying up now it took so much for me not to pop it but i didn't and i'm happy i, I haven't but yeah it's drying up on itself now at least it won't leave a mark because yesterday i was really tempted to pop it but also i need to do my hair i relaxed my hair like a few days ago i think it was like four days ago five days ago and literally that's what it looks like so my hair is the ghetto so i need to relax my hair asa not relax do my hair maybe like braids or something but yeah guys that is it i'm back in lady smith um yeah <laughs> i will talk to you guys later i'm feeling so sleepy nothing lala bye guys the next day I've been drinking cold water ever since I came back, which was like a few minutes ago. Anyways, hi guys. Um, it's I don't know if it's the next day, it's, but I just came back from. I went to get vaccinated today. Um, vax girls worldwide. I really don't know why I waited for so long to get vaccinated i really don't know right now it's been a few hours since i got vaccinated and i'm not feeling anything any symptoms i don't have any symptoms right now my hand my arm i can just feel that something happened like you know booty even the injection itself it really wasn't all that bad honestly it wasn't bad at all in fact it was not bad at all in j it was just it it was even better than most injections that i've gotten before in my life so this one was zero out of ten literally didn't feel anything um but yeah maybe it's the the the, the nurse who vaccinated me maybe she's just genta genta ha ha <laughs> she's gentle um but yeah anyways guys got vaccinated my first dose i'm happy about that but all i have right now all i'm experiencing is a headache but maybe that's probably because i haven't eaten today but also i'm a person who's really prone to headaches it's around um two o'clock right now and i haven't eaten the whole day so mm, probably that's why i'm hungry but anyways i'm about to eat i got myself some dunk wings from kfc they are so cold because I got them like really early and then I had a lot to do still. They even dry at this point. Got myself some dunk wings and because I hate myself, because yes, Zonda, I hate myself, I hate my body, I hate myself, I got chips, guys. 
I I I hate myself clearly <laughs> because I say I'm gonna lose weight. I'm gonna ah! as I'm gonna go for twenty five rand. But anyways, mm, mm, mm. Mm. yo, I haven't had these chips. They're from Fish and Chips Co. Fish and Chips Company. Mm. I haven't had these in a very long time. I am so thirsty. Oh my gosh. I haven't had those in years. They are still as good. But anyways, that's what I got because I clearly hate myself and I hate my body. But I promise, I'll, I'll get it together soon. But yeah, I also went to Clicks. Yo, hi, 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 get Yo, ha. I got Panados because I need, I really didn't get a lot. Oh, I got Panados because I'm gonna need them. Well, they advised me to get Panados in case I experience any pain or, yeah, pain basically. So, um, yeah, I should take those twice, two of those four times a day. That's what the nurse said. But I don't have any pain right now. I'm just gonna eat and see if this he this headache persists if it does then i'll take the panado if it doesn't then i'm good um and then i got this mousse right this flex with silk silk and protein firm normal hold mousse. so i'm i'm going to try this hopefully it works i don't know i'm not going to judge it oh it's from revlon oh okay Guys, do you see the, the importance of brand, not brand loyalty, brand what that? Because right now, I just realized that it's from Revlon and I'm changing my mind because Revlon is a good brand and most of the products are really good. So now I have high hopes because it's Revlon and I'm also shook that it was that affordable because it's Revlon. I mean, Revlon is not expensive, but also it's not the cheapest brand. Okay. It's from Revlon. Revlon. Revlon Flakes. So I'm excited to try this now because it's from Revlon. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I am gonna eat now. Um actually my arms just started getting a bit painful right now. Um, but I was carrying like heavy stuff groceries because I went to get groceries today. I was carrying like heavy grocery um just now. Maybe that's why, because they were like I mustn't use the um that much but anyways guys let me eat and i'll see you guys tomorrow it's so hot oh my god oh my god i'm looking so cute though hi guys okay it's so hot guys i think i just i complain oh my god i complain about the weather I don't know how many times in one video. But anyways, guys, I am just here to say goodbye. Okay, I just finished shooting a look for Instagram. I'm looking cute. I like this. I just, you know. <laughs> anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this vlog. And oh, update on my yeah, hi, no ways, mini update on my vaccination you can't even see anything at this point because it's it's healing really well yeah like the swelling has gone down like everything however yesterday um it it, it, it got a bit more swollen and it was a bit more painful but it was just like for the first half of the day and then later on it was completely fine and yeah so i really I'm, I'm really grateful and I'm so happy that I didn't have any like hectic side effects because of my um whoo, because of the vaccine but anyways guys I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I want to trigger something wait let me let, wait so before I close off this vlog I just wanna give you guys a warning or, sh or like 
like a little story time of what happened to me um when i went to Joburg. so this is what happened this is my bag this is what happened to me you guys and this is not a tear like this bag didn't turn its own someone in Joburg cbd i was working through Joburg cbd going to catch a taxi coming back home and someone literally ripped my bag with a knife or whatever sharp object that they were using so guys and i'm so grateful that nothing fell off because this is like a new trick that they use um when they're trying to rob you they just like cut your bag open and then they just pick up whatever falls whatever falls out so luckily my bag has like layers of fabric as you can see it's like three layers and literally what saved me is such a small like piece of fabric but it literally cut through the leather the uh, yeah guys it was it was it was crazy and things i didn't realize i realized when it happened because i felt the tear but i i didn't realize i didn't realize that they were tearing my bag i realized like after a while that damn so that thing that i felt they actually take my bag so guys just be careful out there if if like if like any big city in jane factors i think even in Durban they do this jailbreak they do this so just be careful guys when you are walking around with valuables and thing is these people are smart okay my my wallet and my phone were literally here because they know and this part was like i was holding it like this so this part was in front so i was covering this part like this because i know what happens and obviously they wouldn't tear the back because you wouldn't put your valuables at the back but if it's in front they know good you're probably gonna put your phone there so just be careful guys i just wanted to say that be very cautious be very careful if you're someone who frequents the cbd and all of that just be careful if you're carrying a bag i when i used to stay in Joburg, i wouldn't take anything no phone no wallet just money in my boob okay do whatever i'm doing and then come back because it's crazy in that place the crime is sickening it's disgusting anyways guys that is just a warning from me okay and yeah <laughs> anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the vlog and i'll see you in my next video bye guys